August 29, 2005. America suffers its most destructive natural disaster. Hurricane Katrina, a Category 3 storm, blows ashore in southeast Louisiana, forcing hundreds of thousands to evacuate. Katrina kills 1,800 people across the Gulf Coast, destroying or severely damaging homes from Alabama and Mississippi to New Orleans. 80% of the Big Easy is swamped when the city's levees break after the storm strikes. Hundreds of thousands of residents and about a million others in surrounding areas are forced to flee. But Katrina's howling winds also drive thousands to the Superdome and to the New Orleans Convention Center for shelter. Most of them, the poorest of the poor, unwilling or unable to heed the evacuation orders. Looting and violence later break out in the city, where the initial sluggish response to Katrina only adds to the misery. We could go and help in Sadami, but we can't help our own people. We've been sleeping in the street for five days and night. Government officials, federal, state, and local, all face sharp criticism for their handling of the catastrophe. From President Bush and Federal Emergency Management Agency Chief Michael Brown to Louisiana Governor Kathleen Blanco and New Orleans Mayor Ray Nagin. Despite some progress in rebuilding after Katrina, recovery for New Orleans and the Gulf Coast remains a long, hard road, while debate over the disaster goes on. Today in History, August 29th, Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.